Okay, grass track racing here for Grand Prix weekend. I'm getting out something very, very different, but um, I'm not especially sure where we are. But Joe Stevens joins me. Firstly, welcome back to Campbell's Comments. Thanks, Paul. Good to be here. You enjoy being interviewed, don't you? Oh, look, I don't have a face for camera, but here we are. <laughs> you, uh, it's a reverse of what you do, so you've got to sometimes cop it. Um, one, what a picturesque place we're at here. This, this is a beautiful little prop, uh, venue, um, especially on a day like today. A little bit overcast. Um, it is going to warm up a bit later on, but just a great little place to come and, and race and watch harness racing. Absolutely. I love the grass track racing. Mocha Carrara, I'm told. I, clearly, I live in the North Island. I am still learning about the places myself, but uh, I love grass track racing, and it looks like an awesome track. They call it the Mott. Don't you take another step back. You've got to realise you've got to stay in the camera. They call it the Mott. Banks Peninsula gets a lot of names, but um, I've been to Akarua. Um, have you been there? No, I haven't. <laughs> For the Harness Racing New Zealand tourism, I'm going to say, people must go there. It is beautiful. It's an old whaling town, and uh, it's French. Uh, it's just an amazing little place. I think it's about half an hour down the road, and it's a beautiful place. And they actually used to race around the beach, see? So I know I know quite a bit about, uh, about that useless information. One, you're over here for, for tomorrow. What a huge meeting they've got tomorrow. Yeah, really exciting. I think this is sort of the the take on what used to be the jewels. Uh, very exciting. I'm excited, of course, for Dylan having a, a runner in the Group 1 as well. But awesome racing and the best horses, which we all love to see. Um, racing at, at, at its purest. You love racing. You love promoting it. You and I, we do different things. We both try and do uh, different things, hence the reason you don't enjoy that. But um, we've got to keep lifting the bar a bit, don't we, and, and changing things up as to, to how we promote our industry. Yeah, absolutely. Of course, uh, like you say, we both sort of do the same thing uh, different ways and just trying to promote harness racing in a positive light. Of course, with um, the activists and stuff being more and more popular now, we're trying to uh, counteract that and um, put this out into the public uh, as positively as we can. They don't understand what it is either because we've got kids' carts. I think they said there's a dozen kids about to go out in the kids' carts. Um, most of the trainers and drivers, they'll get around. They talk to the kids. I saw Blair Orange giving cheek to about three of them as he was, he, he was going out. It's a great lifestyle. It teaches kids responsibilities because they've got to look after horses and that. But harness racing itself, it's just got such a great sport that people don't see how much fun it actually is. Absolutely. And, of course, I've been part of the Thoroughbred uh, Code for a long time as well. I think harness racing just brings a whole other level of... Uh, a relaxed vibe you know um, it, it's a sport for everyone you know the whole family can come and enjoy and as you see the kids carts and a big group of kids it's awesome to see a big group of kids here uh, in Canterbury like I say North Island's probably struggling a little bit more than um, the South Island but yeah awesome to see so many kids and yeah all the senior drivers are encouraging of them like I say sport for the family. Dylan's um, got one runner in tomorrow um, he's got, got a nice little team of horses um, he and Roger they've cut their numbers back a little bit although they're still big big numbers but um, do you enjoy that side of things as well yeah i like supporting dylan you know he does a great job and i think he works hard do you help out in the stables i train a couple of my own as a hobby i'm very very much a hobby trainer and do a couple of thoroughbreds as well but i will help out whenever he needs me i help out the races and whatnot but um you know the training side of things i leave that to him you know we don't need any uh family disputes uh, when we go home it's a very very common common thing it's a few people have actually uh said, said that to me so you just have to you bide your time um but he is going good um and has he enjoyed his time down here down south I think he's loved it down here for the last couple of weeks. Dylan's a very hard worker. He burns a candle at both ends and never takes any time off. So I think it's been good for him to get away. You know, they say change is as good as a holiday sometimes. And uh, just working a couple and helping Regan out while he's been here has been good for him mentally, you know, as well. And I just hope um, Bella goes good tomorrow to um, finish the couple of weeks off for him. She will. She'll go good. Joe, well done. Thanks for joining me. You didn't enjoy it, but thank you very much. Thanks for doing, doing Carmen Crosses as well um, when I ring you um, when I'm back home. Sometimes I'm sort of not home that often, but that's okay. I, I do get there. Uh, but thank you. And um, one, has he got one in today? Yeah, funny faces in later today. She ran in uh, yeah. at one of the mayor's races last week at Addington and um, she chased the whole way. She didn't have much luck. But um, yeah, today, first time on the grass, but um, she's probably, probably the class horse of the field and I'd say she should be thereabouts. Well, good luck with that one um, and good luck tomorrow and uh, hopefully we're catching up afterwards with a happy celebration. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Absolutely. Maybe a few beers afterwards. <laughs> I don't drink, but that's fine. Thanks, Joe. <laughs> Thanks, Paul.